going on guys we are going to do a, a quick breakdown of some of the pairs or some of the coins that we're looking into um that we believe are going to explode during these next this next uh bull cycle so is my can you see my chart right now yep yep you can see it so basically i want to break down what how i do chart analysis before i get in and before i even do that i want to um make sure that i have bullish fundamental confirmation behind the projects so i'm not just looking at projects that i hear about on instagram or on facebook or on the news you know where it's already hit mainstream media because when you when that happens usually prices around here and we want to be getting in in prices around here and so when we're in a bull cycle <clears throat> or what you want to ask yourself is are you in a bear or a bull market Right now we're in a bear market clearly. If you go over to Ethereum, you can see that we've been downtrending for a long time now. So anytime we're looking at getting into altcoins, we're gonna be basing our um, first bullish confirmation off of has uh, Ethereum or Bitcoin found its bottom. So I'm gonna give an example of what before we get into um, what we're looking for for this next bull cycle, I'm going to look at or I'm going to show you how we get in and find confirmations um, when we are in a bear a bull cycle. So I highlighted this section. I'm going to uh, rewind it to here. So we know we're in a let's back back here we know we are in a, a bull cycle based off of price structure because we know we're creating higher highs and higher lows right here we um started going higher then we created a higher low then we created a higher high and a low and then we broke structure up here breaking these um previous highs so now i'm looking for a confirmation to get in i don't just get in right away once I see that highs are broken, I look for where is structure sitting. Okay, where we've broken previous structure. That's number two. Now we're looking at number three. Where did the whales get in at? So basically, what I mean by that is where where did pe uh, the the people with the big money dump in a ton of money at one time? And I know that based off of two things. First off, you see price spike to the upside very violently, and then also in the volume oscillator i look for is there a spike in volume if i get those two confirmations i know that the previous candle before the spike was a um order block and and that's in simplest terms that's just an area like i was saying where uh whales got in at so basically what i would do is i would highlight this section and i would just wait for price to come back and that's where i would get my entry in at so we see that it came into this area right right away and then as soon as it did it moved away from it and then it came back again to grab some more of that liquidity and the reason that it's coming back to tap into these zones is because they unloaded a lot of sell orders in order to um, entice retail traders and then they moved the market away so the reason they have to come back and mitigate this is to close out their sell positions so that they can take the profits from their buys and close out at break even for their sells. And so in a sense, that is kind of what I'm looking for to um, get in. So some a few of the pairs that we're looking to get in, we're going to break down a couple. I'm going to do two and then John's going to do one and then I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to focus more on the uh, the metaverse gaming coins because um, I noticed that even though we are in a bear market, it didn't slow down any of the uh, metaverse gaming projects that were very bullish during the um, bull cycle. So a few of these are going to be D-Race. This is a cool project that has to do with horse horse race betting, and it's all play to earn. You can um you know stake your horses they come as nfts you can buy them as nfts so they're a part of that sector of the cryptoverse which is bullish to me they have their own coin um derc that's the chart we're looking at currently and um so yeah you can go to their website and just check out their white paper their roadmap and see what they got going on if you think it's something that 
is cool to you, I would invest in it. I got to sit in on the an AMA with the um, CEO a few weeks ago and listen to what they have for upcoming updates, and it's really exciting. So I'm very bullish on that. So back to my strategy, how I how am I going to get in on this project? Well, here is where I noticed a giant violent spike before the bull run actually happened. So what that tells me is that's where the major um, majority of the whales got in at. So I've been patiently waiting for price to come back to it. I, I highlighted it. And as you can see here, we keep, when we, when we go back to the Ethereum chart, we notice that it keeps faking people out, acting like it's it's reached its bottom finally, and then spiking up, coming back down, maybe reaching its bottom. And right now, it just might be it just might have reached this bottom based off of this price action, but you never know. We have resistance up here and we're still downtrending. No major structure has been broken to confirm us that we have um, a bullish perspective. But if that is the case, then we will start seeing um, these altcoins move afterwards. And the fact that a lot of my, um, sorry, a lot of my coins that I predicted are right at the areas that I predicted that it would bounce from at the time that Ethereum looks like it's found its bottom is uh, a decent confirmation for me. So as you can see here, price is accumulating right around the area that I thought it was going to get in at. So this is a price where I'm confident to um, put money into. If it drops below that, so be it. It's a project that I feel like you can dollar cost average into. Um, and then once the bull market happens, you can take profits at areas that are like previous highs. That's why I have these lines marked up. So once price starts going up, oops, once price starts going up and then making its way up, I'll take like 10% profits, move it to a stable coin. Then same thing. And as it reaches this thing, this uh, previous high, I'll do the same thing. That way you're not pulling out your full bag. You're still letting your um, money ride and you can kind of milk out this uh, next bull run. So D-Race is my, my first pick. The next pick I want to do is Minty. Um, Minty has a similar price action that I waited for. You see where the big spike happened here. So I have this zone marked out. Price came and tapped it perfectly and is moving away from it. So um, the reason I'm bullish on Minty is because if you go over to their website, they have the whole NFT collection that they've done. They've dropped um, already two collections so far that have sold out. Uh, they have another collection coming. They have two metaverse video games that are play to earn. They have a cross decks. They have a um, NFT uh, trading platform that has no fees. And there's just a lot of things that are going um, behind this project that are very bullish. And the price action is looking good. You can see that we're right at the price where um, at the beginning of its adoption where it consolidated uh, exploded from. So keep your eyes on Minty's. And now I'm going to go ahead and let John um, go over a couple project he, projects he's looking at. All right, let me uh, <clears throat> do this. Let's hide this. Oh, cool. All right, so the first project that I'm looking at right now is Solana. Uh, the reason I like the project is because when I first got into cryptocurrency, Ethereum was like, I love the entire idea of it. I love the idea of decentralized applications and what we can do with them. Um, the only issue that I was running into with Ethereum is the fact that the transactions are costly and the transactions are slow. And Solana kind of came in and changed that problem. I'm going to actually pull up this website. <clears throat> I have to so, share your screen. Uh, I think it's sharing on my end. If I share it on Discord, it's going to really slow my computer down. Yeah, so it'll show up after. Yeah. Okay. Um, so on their Solana website, it shows you how many transactions they're doing per second, which is 2,032. Um, and then the average cost per transaction is less than a penny. So when you look at Ethereum, uh, actually, let me do this. Transactions per second. 
I believe their transactions is, yeah, see, so it can process just 15 transactions per second when Solana is doing 2,000 transactions per second. So not only do we have almost the same network, a decentralized application platform, um, but it's faster and it's cheaper. When an, you look at Ethereum's transaction fees, I mean, they range anywhere from $25 to, I've seen them as high as $700. So it's great to see that we can get into a network that has all the same perks, but it is much cheaper and much faster. So looking at the chart, I'm kind of looking at the same thing that Jaden was looking at with uh, his first coin. And that is this big spike right here. We can see price has been moving or was moving in a bullish direction. And we've seen that pump happen twice here. But then we started to see price go down. And it's been trending down since November. And when you come back to this very first pump we had right here, this is where Jaden was talking about where the whales got in. And so for me, I was kind of hoping for price to come right back down into here. Some other things I look at as well. Oops. I'm going to change this. Is the MACD. And when I'm looking at the MACD, I try to. I'm really looking for divergence, is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some form of bullish divergence to happen and price so it kind of indicates in price moving back to the bullish direction and since that hasn't happened yet i'm hoping that we can see price come back down into here and then we can get some bullish divergence uh let me see if i can show what that bullish you know what i know this has bullish divergence going on so it looks like this when the macd is going up and price is going down. So for me, looking at Solana, I'm looking for price to come down into here before I start getting into any buys. If price does break this previous high up here, this zone, honestly, will be my next area of entry. I'll be looking for price to break this and then come back and retest here. So, all right, and then you're going to do two more, you said, Jaden? Yeah. Okay, we'll pull this up. Okay. So I'm kind of glad that we broke it up this way because it helps me realize things that I've left out um, that are important. So basically, coming back to Minty's before we break down the next two projects, you can hear me all right, right? Yep, I can hear you. Okay. So actually, let's go back to the D-Race um, concept. So when we had our order block marked up based off of this big spike in volume, you can kind of see it here with the um, oscillator here. And we had it marked up. Price is going to do one of two things when it comes back to its uh, order block. It's either going to move away violently. Actually, it's going to do three things. It's either going to move away violently, it's going to consolidate, and then it's going to, or it's going to drop right through it into the next order block, which might be, you know, and then you just kind of go down the, to the list of what's the next spike in volume. Okay, this looks like a decent one. So we can have our next um, order block here. And that's how you can kind of feel confident about when you're dollar cost averaging in Ethereum or some of the coins that we say are what, uh, what you would call like a blue chip coin, um, something you can just set and forget. Uh, but you don't want to be getting in on a weird prices that are like up here or up here. You want to get in at the best prices because you want to see profits immediately. It's no fun being in drawdown for months, especially with a coin that moves slower. So... Um, so the reason I'm bringing this up is because now that we're at a price uh, that we think could be where Ethereum bottomed out at, we're in a similar situation here where we had the order block 
And the easiest way to get in with um, even more confirmation and less headache is to wait for that spike again to happen, to, to have the oscillator show you that whales got in again. So you'll see the spike off of the order block. It'll create a new order block because similar concept like I was explaining, the whales got in. So you'll see that spike. It'll leave us another zone to keep our eye out on. And then that's when we're going to want to get in. If you're dollar cost averaging, go ahead and just have like buy limits set at these order blocks if you don't care about being in drawdown because that's that's a strategy that I do with Ethereum. That's a strategy I know a lot of crypto influencers use. They just see, see prices that a lot of people are confirming and then they check it out on Etherscan or Binance and see where are these um, orders happening at. So you, can, you can easily see how many millions of dollars are placed at those orders and you can kind of follow the money. Um, so we went over D-Race, we went over Minty, we went over, um, or now we're gonna go over Vulcan Forge. So Vulcan Forge is something that had a similar price action happen. I had the area marked up. It violently um, ripped away from it. I had another order set. Once it moved away from it, you can see here that A big sell order happened here before a big another big buy that broke the previous structure here. And unfortunately did not enter me. I missed it by just a bit. But you can see how well this kind of concept works. Um, so we can also assume that if we missed it, you don't have to necessarily delete the zone. You can wait for price to come back to it. Like I had an order block sitting off of this one, off of this one, and price, you know, came and rick shit off of it, take profits because I didn't know if we entered the bull cycle quite yet. And then it dropped and cut through that order block and came to the next one. And, you know, I'll take profits once it gets to this, but it might just do the same thing and rip back down and find, find one down here. So D race is a, or I mean, Vulcan forge is a really cool platform um what i like what i really like about them is when you go to their uh discord they have a, a new update or partnership um announcement pretty much every single day and they have staking um protocols they have nfts they have a lot of cool things going on and um i really like that their devs are very involved with the community So the next, the last one I want to go over is Gala Games. Um, this is a gaming platform that creates multiple games. And I listened to a podcast with the um, CEO of it. And he came, I can't, I can't remember, I'm not super into video games. I can't remember what um, company he worked for that he left to come be part of Gala. But he um, basically explained how there is like a, an enormous team behind this platform that uh, is constantly working and creating the best games that who have already created games that are popular into in uh, the normal video game world. So we can see that we had the huge spike happen at the adopt once the ICO happened, the, the initial coin offering, and prices consolidating around the right right above it. So we might just see a spike into it before the next bull run. Um, so. I'm kind of waiting for price to either break this consolidation range and fill this to the upside. And once price reaches this red zone where whales uh, spiked it to the downside, I will uh, manage accordingly. Um, but this blue zone right around 13 cents is, a, is an area that I will feel very confident in um, putting the most amount of money into. Now, one last thing before we end the video that I want uh, people to do is when you're buying these coins you want to um, make sure you're on the correct website the correct uniswap correct exchange because uh, thousands of people every single day are getting uh, their wallets hacked by connecting their metamasks to a, a false website so the easiest way to make sure you're going on to the correct website is to go to a website like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko, and then you're going to want to search the coin. So here's D-Race. 
and then you can go to their website link right here and usually there will be a link to um to be able to uh, connect to the correct uniswap or uh let's see let's see if we can find it Maybe if you connect your wallet, it'll pop up, but yeah, I think that's anyways, how it works. Yeah. So basically you want to make sure you're going, you don't want to type in, I'll, I'll admit I lost $40,000 just typing into uh, Google uniswap.com. I clicked on a fake one. These, you know, these scammers are uh, creating these fake replicas websites and then paying Google to boost them to the top search. Um, and it's really like, pretty scary out there so you want to make sure you're going to the right sources um, go to their link go to connect wallet or connect to that exchange that is on their website you can also go down to um, market and you can see which exchanges they offer it on so uniswap is their top one gate io um, i don't really mess around with these lower ones because uh, ones that you haven't haven't really heard of, if uh, means that there's probably not a lot of, a lot of liquidity being put into them. So these popular ones are where you want to stick with. Uh, other than that, um, actually, I wanted to ask you, John, a couple questions to wrap it up. Okay. Um, one is like how how can how do you tell if we're in a bull market? I'm really big on price structure, so. For me, it's, I need at least one higher high and higher low. So hold on, let me show you. I'll show you with Bitcoin. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this. That's the second question, cause it might feed into what you're doing. It's what makes a good confirmation versus a fake confirmation. Okay. So, all right. For me, when I'm looking at Bitcoin right here, when I can tell that we've had like a reversal and that we're starting to move into a bull direction, I'm looking for zones like this and zones like this to be broken and then pushed off of again. So I want price to do this. I want it to come up above this zone, push back down to it. And then push to the upside uh, we can't just enter you know we can't just assume that we're in a bullish market if price pushes back down to here because price could just blow right through this so to answer your a uh, fake confirmation or a real confirmation um a retest for me is not a real confirmation i need to see price push off of that point and break the high that we had here oops i clicked the wrong thing high that we had here we need to break this high again in order for me to say that we're in a bull market now okay i know you couldn't see that but <laughs> i yeah. went over the bitcoin chart i can't figure out how to show it <laughs> um okay lastly what area in crypto do you see yourself making a career out of as in like where do i like, and maybe not maybe not yourself but maybe like a career you know is gonna be created that you're excited about oh okay um i would say two, there's two of them i'm excited for uh these engines these crypto gaming engines to come out you know like right now i guess your big one your biggest one is steam um, most of the games are all on Steam that everybody's playing. I mean, there's a couple other ones. You have Blizzard, um, you know, uh, I can't even think of them right now, but there's a couple other major engines that people are using that their games are launching on. Um, and I think that's what crypto gaming needs right now. You're seeing a lot of people kind of come out with these games, but not a lot of people are coming out with things like Gala. Like Gala is an engine that these games can run on or Sandbox or uh, Decentraland, I believe. These are all places that these games can be ran on. 
Um, and we need more of those. I really don't think Sandbox is the best place, in my opinion. I think Gala is much better than Sandbox. Um, I think there's something more to be made of it, though. I think somebody's going to come out with a really, really good engine um, that you could start to play games like, like Call of Duty. On. Microsoft just purchased uh, Activision. And so... There's rumors that Microsoft is looking to get into the crypto gaming space and the metaverse space in a whole, and uh, they purchase Activision, and Activision's <coughs> where you're seeing all of the Call of Duty games. Um, I mean, they literally have like 50 plus games on there that are all extremely mainstream. And so now that they've purchased it with the idea that they want to get into um, crypto gaming and the metaverse, I think that we're going to start to see these other companies like Sony, who actually just bought Bungie, who owns the Halo um, game. You're going to start to see these companies coming up with their own engines that they can use to launch these mainstream games on where you're getting the same perks that you're getting from crypto gaming. Um, then the other thing is I'm very excited for like the future of documents and NFTs. I think that pictures was like the first place, you know, these JPEGs, um, that was the first place. And now we're seeing these JPEGs with some utility, these projects that are coming out with uh, these NFTs that actually do something for you. They either have like a staking ability or that's your character in a video game or whatever it may be. Um, and I'm really excited to start seeing this file movement with NFTs where you could start to see like the deed to your house or the title to your car, these are locked on as an NFT. You don't have to worry about keeping that uh, piece of paper anymore. Anybody can go in, look at your wallet, see that you own this NFT, um, which is your the title to your car. So like, you know, you, you wanna go get insurance on your car or whatever it may be, or um, you need to get your tabs, uh, like new tabs if you just bought a new car, you go to the social security office and it could be like, boom, here's my wallet address and look at it. I mean, that's very far in the future, but uh, I'm excited to see the small steps we take in that direction. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, the reason I wanted to ask you that question is to kind of get anyone that's watching this to kind of get on the same wavelength of why we're so bullish on everything, even if we're in a bear market, is because this is a, a financial revolution that's occurring where economies are gonna start emerging um, inside of this metaverse where you're going to be able to get to this place where, or, or you should be in this place right now if you're at the right, with the right information where you can not be scared of what's happening in the economy right now because there's abilities to make money online even easier than ever before. For example, you can go to our Discord and go out down to the staking um, and you'll see where uh, the place that we're staking our money in. I'm already making uh, half what I make per month on one staking thing because um, I had the right information at the right time. And that's kind of what we're trying to bring you guys. And so like, be thinking about what, what in this world does, uh, could be virtualized and realize what's not out yet because so much isn't out there yet. Find what is you're passionate about. Like for example, if you're passionate about real estate, you see how much uh, real estate is booming in the metaverse. Maybe you can get in on that and think of ways to become an investor in that as far as like renting out your land, re renting out your uh, houses and things like that. So the possibilities are endless and we just want everybody to kind of understand what's happening right now. So you're not, uh, you know, lost. But other than that, do you have anything left you yeah. want to say? Yeah, one more thing. Uh, today's February 1st. Today they came out with the pre-sale for Crib, um, which is something we've been posting in the Discord. And um, if... They have a limit to how much you could per or how much can be purchased of the crib for the pre-sale. Uh, they're assuming seven days it'll be sold out. So I mean, I would get it sooner than later. Um, I mean, do your own research, obviously. But for me, I'm I'm gonna get it sooner than later for sure. Um, I'll release a video on how to buy it. It's actually extremely simple. You just go to their website and click buy. And. Uh, I kind of wanted to touch on the thing you said about staking, like how you're able to just, you can make so much money with staking. Crib staking protocol is 42% APY, which is ridiculous. I can't even believe it. And then the Mintonians, same thing. Like the their staking protocol is ridiculous. $10 a day per Mintonian stake. That's just, 
unheard of. One Mintonian will pay you three thousand six hundred fifty dollars at the end of the year. So that's really all yeah, I wanted to a, say. I think that'll do that for you. Yeah, I know. Seriously, like, bought the NFTs for eight hundred bucks, and they're gonna pay me three thousand six hundred fifty dollars a year. I'll take that investment. Financial. Uh, this is not financial advice. Yes. Disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, not financial advice. We showed you in the other videos that are posted in the Discord how to do your own research on all these projects. We, that's why we didn't go too deep into them. We just showed you the websites, how to buy them, and the prices we're looking for. But other than that, you're going to have to do your own research and not blame us if you lose money. Yes. <laughs>